Start with your regular performance deck. Find yourself an audience. Two cards are chosen. What we'll do, we're going to get two cards chosen from the pack, one at a time. Do you think you could remember two cards for me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then lost into the deck, each in turn. Yeah. If you just say stop anytime you like. Stop. We'll put it in the middle of the middle. Okay. The first card is easy to find. The first card is the easiest card to find because all I have to do is click my fingers just like that. You saw it going to the middle. <laughs> <laughs> that's it? Yeah, that's it. But not only that, the first selection was actually predicted right from the start. Well, actually printed on the back of the card box is a prediction that I made before I came here. One card printed on the back. Ah, oh, your pack. Oh, wow. How have you done that? Printed on the back. <laughs> The card box. <laughs> ridiculous. For this second card, we make things a little harder. Now, to find your card is going to be slightly more tricky. I'm going to put the deck away so okay. I can't do anything with the cards. Now, if you hold your hand out for me, could you hold the deck for me? What I want you to do is to imagine that you can see the second card in the pack turning over, so it's facing a different way to all the other cards. Mm -hmm. You do that? Okay. Okay. You got that? Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I don't know what your card is, and you've been holding that pack the whole time, so there's nothing I could do to interfere with the deck. But would you be surprised if there was one card facing the other way around to all the other cards in here? I'd be very impressed. <laughs> what we'll do, we'll just go straight through and we'll look for one card yeah. facing the other way. Would you be surprised if this was your second no, card? No, I really wouldn't. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think I'm going to be. Then, there's the twist. The two cards actually transpose right in the spectator's hands. Would you be more surprised if this was your first card? The Seven of Diamonds. <laughs> Meaning that in your hand, the card that you've been holding all along must be <laughs> the seven mark. card. <laughs> that was the seven. Okay, that is strange. Don't forget the box, though. That card was the Seven of Diamonds. The card that was printed on the back of the card box. Yeah. The box that you've been holding this whole time. Yeah. The card box actually transforms to reveal the spectator's selection. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. How have you done that? Oh. <laughs> that is, ex that's fantastic. There are no box switches, it can actually be examined. That's mental. That's good. I just don't know how you've done that. It's just a box. Back of the box just completely changed. How does that even make sense? Practical, unobtrusive, no bulky props, no gimmick decks. So I don't have a clue <laughs> how you've done that. Resets in seconds. It's a simple, fast paced routine. There's no logic. Everything is explained in detail with photographs, right down to the simplest moves. That's fantastic. Plus, if you don't want the full routine, the concept lets you be as creative and opportunistic as you like. That's strong magic. It's real magic. That's witchcraft. That's ambidextrous. <laughs>